Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwame Asha Allah. Kuhuloyim la, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bahashim Rekha HaKudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and led by the Spirit. Taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water toward the Akim and Akwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yahweh Nawaf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Wanted to touch on that Revelations 13 and 16 Where it talks about that MOTB That mark of the beauty and the beast man And I was just watching the Apostle um, Tahar's uh, lives just now And he you know they're going He was going off into um, IUIC With this long drawn out Word salad of you know Why the chip is not the, the MOTB Or the mark of the beast You know just 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 Really fooling the people man and there's going to be a lot of people that's going to be destroyed in that that particular group. And hell, they're overall the Lord going to break that group down anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because they're you know they're leading the people astray, and probably just when the ones that need to be led astray are pretty much um, blanketed, so to speak, because the Lord is the one that's blinding the ones that don't get this this um that don't get the scriptures. He's blinding them. He's allowing these IUIC members to um, not see what this um, technology really is. So as the apostle was, you know, going through the video and speaking on it, you know, I, you know, I kind of just went into it, you know, because, hey, this AI, AI in Google is getting down right now. They're getting down these days, man, because all you got to do is ask a simple question and AI going to give you some some results, man. So I just typed it in. You know, I just typed in, can a chip be put into a person to make purchases? And the AI overview says, yes, a person can have a microchip implanted under their skin to make purchases. They actually have how it works. How it works, the chip uses near-field communication, NFC, technology to allow for contactless payments. The chip is activated using a digital wallet app, and the person can make purchases by hovering their hand over a contactless payments reader and we've seen it it's videos on it people who you know it's people all over the world that's doing this shit we've seen it the, the tech is out here they're already doing it so it's nothing for them to just you know come up with some way to make it mandatory and we'll, we'll just have to see how that process plays out but that's that man's overall way of controlling the people from you know because the scripture talks about let's go into it real quick with something like this, they'll be able to control everything, man. See, like right now, you can go to an ATM machine or, you know, go to the bank. Some banks don't even, you know, allow you to even withdraw money from the inside anymore. You have to go to the ATM machines. But if you go to the ATM machine, you take out three or four hundred dollars. Now, they know when you was at the bank because it's got a digital footprint. Your receipt says it on there. They know exactly when you were there. Matter of fact, they got camera work on you. They can easily go back and say, yep, he was here exactly this time. They were driving this particular vehicle, you know what I'm saying? Their license plate is this. Because they got cameras all around the bank. So it, it's overall, this this man's way of, he wants to be all-knowing. According to um, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3 and um, verses 4. He has that God-like complex, man. So it's nothing for you to go to the bank, get three or $400 out. But guess what? Once you leave the bank, now he doesn't know where you at with that money. He doesn't know, you know, he doesn't know if whether or not you're giving um, a family member, you know what I'm saying, uh, $20. You might be uh, uh, paying somebody 50 bucks or some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Or you might, you know, give your kids a little bit of allowance. You you know, you got some little toddlers or, you know, some seven, eight-year-olds. You're giving them a little, whatever, you know, some pizza money or whatever. They don't, they don't know what's about to happen with that money once you leave the bank. But guess what? With this digital system, they're going to know where every goddamn cent goes and when it was spent. See? Or that, you know, you might be a mechanic. You might know how to do some hair. You might know how to, you know, do some side job type shit. And if somebody was paying you, you know, raking some leaves or something, cutting some grass, whatever the case may be. They throw you a little whatever, you know, in cash right in your hand. It's not going to be none of that no more. They're going to know exactly what was what. And that's the reason why they're getting the people used to, you know, um, say like you go to a restaurant and everybody in the restaurant can, you know, pretty much, you know, split the bill, so to speak, through a cash app. 
or through a you know some type of um digital form of of, of payment on the phone hell i'm seeing now and i never used to see it before you know when i be going to the regular little stores in the neighborhood i'm talking about regular little bullshit stores you know jake whipping out their phone and, and and tapping their phone you know um you know up against the uh, uh you know the payment um hook up man and taking the, and it's taking the money right off their phone which is you know a setup you know as far as a debit card or a credit card or whatever anyway but it's all digital right so let's get um let's see here where we at here oh maybe i'm 13 and 13 let's go to revelation 13 16 And he called, matter of fact, let me read it right here. It says, and he calls if all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. So now let's get this mark right here. The word mark is G5480. And it says from um, the same as G5482, a scratch or etching that is stamp as a badge of servitude. This is what this man is trying to do. He he wants to put everybody into perpetual servitude. And if if the Lord wasn't going to stop this guy, he would pull this shit off because he he has the tech to do it. He got the uh the the you know the, the power to do it. He's in control of every damn thing. This is Esau's system. This is this is what he wants to do. It says a sculptured figure, statue, graven mark. Let's get the G fifty four eighty two. It says from Corasso to sharpen to a point akin to G1124, I mean 25, through the idea of scratching a stake that is by implication palisade or rampart military mound for circumvallation in a siege, a trench. And, and, and if you've ever seen a stake or a palisade, right, it, it, it's like a uh, matter of fact, I've been intending to watch this movie, too, and I've been seeing it advertised on a roku tv it's a movie with tom cruise and um nicole kidman now, i think they were like irish um you know immigrants or whatever you know what i'm saying but there, there's a scene where everybody is racing for this land it's like you know you um it was a uh, a race to put down on a plot of land that you wanted to get and they had a stake which is like a sharp stick you know sharpened at the end and once they got to that point of that property to own that property they would hammer that stake down that meant property in the same way when it comes to a, a stake is a, that stake is shaped like a syringe. What how do they how are they putting these these things into people? Let's go back real quick there. When you go into the images, they're using, um, um, you know, a damn syringe to put these things into into the people. Let me see. They do they have a picture of it. Yep. See, like right here, this tattoo artist right here. And pretty much that's what they are. They pretty much you can go to your local piercing um, spot where you can get a damn tattoo and they'll put one of these in you right now for the price of about 300 bucks. Two to three hundred dollars. You can get one of these. See, and, and, and this is like a steak. Here you go right here. Here's a, here's a better picture. See, that's like a steak. If you you know, if you matter of fact, we can get the word steak. Um, Just a sec, though. Let's just go back into this real quick. G11 um, 25. Let's see what that one is. Primary verb to grave, especially to write. Figuratively to describe, describe writing, grapho. And, and pretty much the, what's going to happen is they're going to write the information on the damn chip and put it into your ass. What do you think they, how, how do you think they, 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 they use the code to actually do it with your phone or just a, a regular debit card in general. They're writing the program onto the chip. Like, you know, most debit cards right now, you know, all you got to do is just tap that boy. That's why I don't understand. Like, but, you know, I, people put the shit on their phone. It don't matter to me, you know, because I'm just doing the same old thing, you know. But that tap and pay. They could easily leave it like how it is, but no, he's gonna because they they're gonna tell you, oh, you well, you don't you don't have to worry about um losing your card anymore. And Esau even go as far as um they want to try and recycle all plastic. You know what I'm saying? You know they get to talking about um climate change and all that shit and how um the earth is being polluted with these plastics. We're no longer gonna use those cars because they it's it's 
de probably trillions of these damn cards out here from gift cards to I've heard them actually talk about that before. Recycling these cards. That's why a lot of the times they'll, they'll you know, send you a new one, but they want you to pretty much if you can return the old one, you know. So they can use something as simple as that and say, hey, you know what? We're not going to use plastic anymore. You know, we're going to take it to the next level. <laughs> and, and you just never know how this man going to get down, man. Esau is very goddamn crafty, man. OK, so it says again, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or say, sell save he that had the mark or the number of the beast or the number of his name so you're not going to be able to sell buy or sell without this thing man because it's already if if you if you get a business in whatever state you're in and you you know you're really going to have to hook up to a digital system you're going to have to have those those tap and pays those those swipe jump offs in your store other than that, you're not going to make no damn money because a lot of people are not even um, um, dealing with cash like that no more because Esau has broken that shit down already. He has made people used to not carrying as much cash anymore. The only people that really carry cash like that and really that's into, um, big time into cash like that is Jake, man. Jake is the one with the big ass wad of cash up to their goddamn ear. See? When it comes to these Edomites, man, they're not carrying no cash like that, man. Esau... He's going to have his little credit card, his little debit card, you know what I'm saying? And, and maybe a $20 bill in his, in his fucking wallet. And he's not even carrying a regular wallet like that no more. He'll have like one of those little thin strip jump offs, you know what I'm saying? Where, you know, they even have the ones where your digital information can't be um, transferred. Because, you know, see, Esau, he'll use all that because you got hackers out here that can hack into your damn card, you know, just while you're standing there, you know? So they're going to be like, he's going to come up with that crappy counsel and say, hey, look, you're not going to have to worry about theft anymore. You're not going to. Because see, matter of fact, the apostle brought that up, too. And I kind of use it. I've used it before. You know, like my um, information as far as drivers, you know, insurance and shit like that on the phone. So when you get pulled over by a police officer, they accept that now. You don't have to whip out no piece of paper no more. It's all digital. And everything is, is going to go to that point, man. And they already... You know, pushing this thing of, well, if you, you know, you get all your medical information on there, it'll be safer for you just in case you have an accident. The doctors will already know your, um, you know, your medical status and it, it could save your life. And, you know, they're going to, you know, all this different shit. Crafty counsel. Well, if your children get them, they can no longer be trafficked. You know, they can, you know, they can, they can be found anywhere in the world. You know, like these goddamn Apple AirTags. I just seen a commercial. Well, not a commercial, but on the news. They got the Apple, you know, this the Apple AirTag been out for a couple of years now, two, three years or whatever. But, you know, now they're talking about, you know, with the holidays coming, you know, you put the Apple AirTag in your, your luggage while you're flying. And, you know, because so much luggage gets lost, we can, you know, go into the computers right at the airport and we can run your shit down through that Apple AirTag. So they're, they're making people more a lot more comfortable. You know what I'm saying? We're using such things, you know, because people have gotten lazy as hell. People don't, be, you know, really want to do anything physical anymore. That's why, you know, a lot of people are getting fucked up going to try and have these gastric, um, um, you know, uh, surgeries. And, you know, they don't want to go to the gym and actually put the work in and lose weight. You know, they go into these countries and they're doing, you know, certain shit, you know, trying to get down butt lifts and all. When all they have to do is just go to the gym and hit the, you know. You know, hit the right weights and, 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 and just wait on it to form out, you know, over time. But they want it instantly. And see, that's what Esau sells you on because he's an instant guy. Right. But let's go back to the article. Let's go back here. Let's read off the rest of what um, AI had to say on this. So we went into how it works. So it says safety and security. The chip is said to be safe and cannot be scanned or copied. That's what they're saying. It doesn't transmit radio waves or have GPS. Yeah, but come on, bro. Which would allow for location tracking. But if you're only going to be able to use that to make a payment, then your every move going to be documented anyway. If you know, if you're just you know, from from that aspect. 
Now they doing all these digital cars. Everything is digital in the car. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, they know the location of the car. They got the fucking um, GPS systems in the car. You know, and, and even the phone, you know, so to speak. I mean, you know, these people know exactly where everybody at. There's nothing for these people to run somebody down. You got a phone number connected to your ass. They know where you at. Straight up, man. Okay, so it says which would allow location tracking. However, some raise privacy and security concerns about the potential for cybersecurity risk if the chip is hacked. So you, you think that the government is not in control? You don't think that they're not gonna play with that? Come on, bro, you out your mind. Who offers the service? Walletmore and is a British Polish company that sells microchips for this purpose. The chips are implanted in the hand after a local anesthetic and it's aesthetic injection. That was what I was showing you with a tattoo artist, you know, or you going to get a piercing. And the company recommends using a surgeon or one of its specialists for the procedure. The chip costs around 300 bucks, right? Where the chip is implanted. The chip is usually implanted in the dorsal web space between the first and second metacarpal, which is basically right there in between your thumb and your, um, your index. other uses it says in addition to making payments the chip could also be used for identification and key cards see that so you can't get around it and then they go up into your you got videos right here i'm not going to play any of the videos but we've seen these videos most of these was like you know from um, a couple of years back because see he sort of I, what i noticed is they just started slowing up on, on showing anything about this 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 thing anymore now, see right here, they have the um, AI overview on Elon Musk. In January 2024, Elon Musk Neuralink company announced that it has successfully implanted a brain chip in a human for the first time. Why is he so close and running with Trump right now? Trump was going against the CBDCs. He was talking about, nope, we're going to keep this cash. We, you know, dollars king, all that bullshit. Now he's talking about CBDCs. And of course, you got your boy Elon Musk with the Neuralink shit with all the tech. So put two and two together, man. And you can't trust these people, man. The scripture says to never trust thine enemy. Let's get that real quick in the book of Sirach. These guys trying to use, you know, bowing to statues and shit like that. See, back in them, them scriptures that they trying to use, you know, going back to, um, you know, uh, uh, certain places where, you know, they wanted to make, you know, a one world government and things of that nature. See, them was back in the days, you know, where they didn't have the technology that they actually have now. They have the technology now to actually pull this shit off, bro. So let's get to Rock 12 and 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness. And you're never to trust this man. Because see, matter of fact, it goes on to say, Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped the looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rest have not been altogether wiped away. So he's going to come at you humbly, crouching. This is going to be for the good and betterment of the people. You know, this is going to save lives. <laughs> this is this is how he comes at you with everything. This is going to speed along the process. This is going to make things easier. That's how he's going to come at you. Then next thing you know, he got your ass. And don't think that they didn't... Um, Oh, they, they got enough data, you know, during the COV-19 era, a couple of years back here, when they shut down everything and you couldn't go nowhere and couldn't do certain things. Shit, I just seen one woman, I don't even know where she works. She she um just won a lawsuit for $12 million for losing her job, you know what I'm saying? Because she didn't want to tell, oh, it was a Catholic, Um, I think she was a Catholic, Um, forgot, some, something to do with a Catholic person, though, that's in the, the Catholic church or some shit like that, but she, she won $12 million. Cause she she held out and she was like nope i'm not gonna take it but see you know you got you have edomites out here that know better than to take that shit now this guy in the iuic video he's telling you don't take it but he's saying that the market's sin okay well are you fucking perfect because if you're not perfect then you had the mark already the scriptures talks about how none of us are are, are, are perfect we're not we don't have the new bodies yet well, that's one thing that IUIC, they, they, they have a stickler for, you know, they, they talk about the laws, the statutes and commandments. Of course, we're supposed to do that to the best of our ability. But at the same time, too, we need Yahweh's side because we're not perfect. 
Paul was, was shit, he was an expert in the law. But he knew that we needed Yahweh Shai, the ultimate sacrifice for our sins. So these dudes not waking up and, and, and going about their day-to-day -day week, you know, day-to-day -day month, day-to-day -day year, and they're never sinning. So what? So what? You got the mark of the beast. You can you can simply be in the same house with your your woman on her monthly period, and, and you touching shit that she touching. You motherfucker, you defile. We can already see they getting these razor lineups and shit. We can see that they got you know they're 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 going against um what Paul said as far as you know what I'm saying as far as um um long ass hair. You got dreads and shit hanging all down their back. And then they won't even call on the true name of the father and son. But yet they telling you about uh, the mark of the beast is sin, but they don't have it. If that was the case, all oh, y'all got it. <laughs> like, come on. And how you going to buy and sell with sin, man? That's like walking to the supermarket like, yeah, you know what? I just told a little white lie. You know what I'm saying? Let me get a pack of cigarettes, you know, or. Or, or to spend more or to, to, to get a, a bigger purchase or I just, you know, I just um, um, murdered such and such. I'm here to get a, uh, you know, I'm here to get this Ferrari or whatever the fuck. What you about to do? How you going to buy with sin, bro? You just walking into a gas station and you trying to get some gas and they're like, well, what kind of sin did you commit today? You have to commit a sin to go in and get some gas? That don't even make no sense, bro. These these dudes is going all the way off, man. But um, let's see what else. Yeah, I wanted to get that. Let's get that Second Thessalonians too, because this man got the the god like complex, man. Goddamn Nero back in office. Let's see here. Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse three. It says, "Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Right. And I'm, I'm uh, and I'm guessing these guys are teaching, you know, pretty much what Christianity teaches that some guy is just going to pop out of the woodworks somewhere. And he's the Antichrist. But the scripture says there's multiple Antichrist. Anybody that doesn't believe on Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, they're damn Antichrist. The scripture talks about that plural It's plenty of them. So it's not just some one guy. Popping up out of the woodworks, you know what I'm saying? You know, because they, you know, they'll have you think that this red guy, he got the two horns on his head, you know, and, and there's this burning place on the ground. He's got the pitchfork and none of that shit. And, and matter of fact, they was teaching the hell doctrine. I'm, I'm not sure if they still doing it, you know, teaching the people that there's a, a burning place under the ground, with, knowing full well that that's not what the scriptures is saying. That shit is is, is some fables, man. Right. So the man of sin, the son of perdition is being revealed right now. That's Esau. The scripture says that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not wearing, who is he? This man is in control of the planet, man. They trying to say that yet yeah, they use sanctions on people. OK, but that don't have anything to do with no um, um, this, 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 this scripture in Revelation 13, 16, bro. But they have the power to sanction is you know, they, you know, trade and see it's going off into stuff like that. Nah, bro. These people are ready to implant this shit in billions of people. Why you think is this such this big fight of these chip companies right now? Why you think America's trying to hold on Taiwan like how they trying to hold on Taiwan? Isn't they like the biggest chip makers in the world? Look at all these chip plants that they building here right here in America. That's all they've been talking about. All these different, well, you know, they've been talking about you, these storms that have been happening and how they're coming across all these, you know, these minerals here in the Americas. I think, you know, quartz and um, what was it? Lithium or some shit that they've been finding in these places where so-called Hurricane Helene tore the fuck up. Why are they so hell bent on it? Because they need that, that, that those minerals and whatever, you know, to make these things, man, those chips and these batteries and all kinds of shit to run this type of stuff, man. See, Esau is not playing no games. But these Edomites, they know. But you got an Israelite group that, that's teaching the people that know that's not the case. But you got regular fucking Marlboro smoking, whiskey drinking ass Edomites that know that this shit is the, the MOTB, man. That's crazy, bro. And the Lord is about to start dealing with these dudes. Verse 4. 
2 Thessalonians 2 and 4 says, Whoso who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. First off, he gave you a white God. He gave you white Jesus. He gave you white disciples, white prophets, everybody in the Bible, supposedly them. You know, they gave you, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then now all of a sudden, you know, he, he wants to be all seeing, all knowing. Cameras all over the fucking place. He tapping into your ring doorbell. He don't even need a warrant for that. He got satellites all out in the skies. And they don't already said that China got the perfect model for the world. China already been getting down. And it, it's really just a race for all of it to go together. But it's really that one entity, Esau Edom, he's the one that's in control of all this interconnection of this digital system that's about to jump off, man. And you're not going to have no choice if you're trying to buy or sell out here. The only thing that you're going to be able to do is rely on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. His name is a strong tower. And these guys are not even teaching their names, bro. They, you know, so, you know, like the apostles say, I believe that, you know what I'm saying, there's some elect in um, IUIC and they're going to come out of there. They ain't going to have no choice because that's just scriptural, man. That's prophetic. But the Lord is about to break them dudes down, man, for the lies that they're telling. See, don't get all into the cosmetics of this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they look good. They got the, you know, the, the professional pressed. I'm talking about, man, ain't no telling how much some of them um, outfits um, uh, uh, Bishop Nathaniel be wearing, man. Them, them shits, man. Them, them, I know them, them costumes got to be in, the, in, the, in the, the thousands. Those are not cheap garments, man. But they look good. They look uniform. They look nice. You know what I'm saying? You know, so people will look at them all. They, they speak nice. They got good orators. You know what I'm saying? And, and people will fall for that shit. Like one of my bro, you know, one of my bros, when we first came into the truth together, you know, he went more towards um, IUIC and I, you know, went towards GMS. And I was trying to tell him like, you know, hey, bro, don't, you know, don't get away from them guys, man. They're not, they, they not, you know, telling the full truth. They doing this, they doing that. So it's like now, you know, bro, he, you know, he knows he's a Hebrew Israelite, but shit, I was just hooked up with him not long ago. And shit, man, he's sitting there smoking damn weed. <laughs> you know, he blowing a blunt, you know what I'm saying? He doing, you know, and, and, and you know, I mean, that that's to each his own on, on that tip. You know what I'm saying? Because there's no scripture that actually says that you can't, you know, but, you know, you, you know, you don't want to mess your temple up. You know, the scripture talks about, you know, um, uh, uh, you know, the Lord will destroy your ass if you destroying the temple. But, you know, just the whole thing of, you know, he's just not into it, man. He's not teaching. He's not doing, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, I just, he knows that he's in Hebrew Israelite, though. Because, see, he kind of, you know, he's, he's, he's really into music. So he likes music and, you know, um, IUIC kind of. Hey, you know how IUIC, man, they be having some nice little songs and shit. They got, you know, um, studio quality shit. You know what I'm saying? Like their production. Even there, you know what I'm saying? When you look at their their, their videos, that shit is, is, is together. You know what I'm saying? But all that magical shit, that ain't, that's, you throw that out the window. Because that don't have anything to do with this truth, man. I'm not saying you can't have you a, a, a you know, a, a ultra damn camera or, you know, you can't have you a nice microphone or a nice setup with a backdrop and your, you know, and you know, when you're doing your lessons and stuff like that. But shit, if you're not telling the 100 percent truth, then that, you're no good anyway. So it don't matter, man. But anyway, this man. Again, it says who opposed him and exalted himself above all that is called God or that is worship so that he is God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. So he's ultimately going to come down with that, you know, that real hammer. He's in control of the of the of, of, of the minerals, the finances. He's in control of the water. He's in control of your heat. He's in control of your 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 just everyday life. You can't say that this man is not the wicked man That Job 9 and 24. It says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And these elite of the uh, uh, of these Edomites, man, they running this thing, man. This is their kingdom. And they're making one last stand to pretty much, you know what I'm saying, come up against the prophecies of the scriptures and they're not going to be able to succeed. So, I mean, you know, I just wanted to just kind of chop it up on this real quick, you know. 
See, this guy, see, yep, Elon Musk, man. And, hey, this guy, he's going to play a huge part in, in, in Trump's. I just seen an article on this guy. Let me see if I can. Let me see. It's lockier. I just seen an article on him. Because, you know, Trump is already picking out his, picking out his team. I seen something on this guy earlier. Maybe they probably done moved it around, though. If I'm not mistaken, I was in this. Yeah, a bunch of damn bread and circus, a bunch of damn... I don't know, maybe they moved it around because I could have sworn it was like a top story. Uh, yeah, man, hey, hey, your boy Trump and I'm about to get down, man, out here, man. Look at this one right here. Louisiana Ten Commandments Law is blocked. In public schools, let me see, Louisiana's Ten Commandments law in public schools is blocked by a federal judge. See, and that shows you how wicked these people are because your ass was, you, didn't you um, swear in on the Bible? Isn't this supposed to be a Christian nation? See, these people are a bunch of damn hypocrites, man. I'm not seeing that Elon Musk join. But anyway, we know that this guy, he's, he's about to play a part in what's popping out here, man. He's got the, he, he, he has that tech. Yeah, we don't have to go into it, though. You know, it's a lot going on in the world right now, though. So, you know, hey, keep your head on a swivel, man, and watch out for what's popping out here. Yeah, man, they about to come into a lot of it. They about to stop a lot of this talk, too. All this talk that's on the, um, you know, on the web. They calling it misinformation, disinformation, and all this other shit. So when it straight comes down to it, they're going to be able to just rock straight out, man. They, you know, and they're talking about overall, you know, possible arrest, you know, for certain, saying certain things, you know. So, <laughs> hey, it's all it's all getting ready because there's going to be a lot of people that's going to come up against shit like this. Yeah, man, it's a lot of stories, bro. It's so much information. Can't even go through all of it. But I wanted to touch on that real quick, you know. Um, yeah, that market of beauty and the beast, man, that's going to be something that's going to be placed, some physical place under your damn skin, bro. And they're going to use your the food, water, things that you need, medical um, situations, your medicines, whatever. They're, you know, they're going to use all that shit to have you come on down and volunteer your um, your your, you know, them doing it to you. Because they want you to they want you to actually do it. it, it it's almost like a contract. You know, when you go say you're going to buy a car from a car lot, they can't force your hand on the signature. They can't force your hand on the signature. What they will do is they'll place it before you and, you know, give you all that. Like I said, your scripture says, never trust thine enemy. For like his iron rust swords his wickedness, though he humble himself. They'll come with these sales pitches, you know. Telling you about, you know, um, this amount this month, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, we'll knock this off. We'll do this. We'll do that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you'll have these free oil changes and whatever, whatever. And then, you know, you're thinking like, you know, but you're not that small print. That's on the bottom. You don't know that once you sign that shit, your ass is in a fix. You're in a fix. You're 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 now they they have full fledged ability to go off into your bank account and, and garnish your fucking wages, man, and things like that. So even when it comes to the the the, the you know this market of beauty and the beast, that's gonna make it even easier. There's gonna be no you going to the bank and you got all your money out and this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? No, they're gonna be able to go right into your ass and get a traffic ticket out of you. They're gonna be deducting that shit right from you. They wanna garnish you, they, they you know, they you know, so you just gonna be a, a walking damn slave, man. You waking up trying to see what, what what's on your you know that that movie End Time was a great movie with Justin Timberlake. Your time is gonna be money, basically.
and they're gonna know <laughs> you know like hey this this place is about to get crazy man hey this is how you know you're dealing with a goddamn madman you're dealing this is this dude is is, is satan man it, uh uh or the physical um counterpart of satan on the planet man he's the damn devil anybody want to do that to a person man you know they're not right man perpetual enslavement This is what he's trying to do. And he's hey, he's 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 got the tech. He, he's gonna do it, man. So I'm gonna end off there. <laughs> I pray that this lesson will edify with that quam Yashallah and the Bible boy.